all the torments, the devil attacks, and everything. You also have to go through that to order to be the preacher of the nations. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. I know, I know some jóvenes que Dios llamó a ser pecadores. Because mm -hmm. of it, he ain't no kidding, ain't no kidding. And I'm um, like, why don't you want to do that? He was like, ah, oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to preach for God and everything. I'd rather do something else. I'm like, doing God's will is the best job you can ever have. You get play, you get paid for blessings. Hallelujah. Money, it's blessings, and that's the best thing. Blessing. Can get you anything you want. If only you honor him and pray to him. And and the couple wills of God for people's lives and users lives. One of them is to be saved. Another one is to be filled with the Holy Spirit and to be holy with God. Amen. The other one submit to God and do good things. And the other one is to suffer for his sakes. Those are the wills that holiness need to learn. Some of them, they don't want to be saved. Some of them don't want to be whole with the Holy Spirit. Some of them don't want to be submit to God and others. This is the big part. No one wants to suffer. And me, I'd rather suffer than do the easy way. Because I'm pretty, sometimes I can be hard-headed. I don't like, sometimes I like doing easy things. But then I get mad after them, like, oh, that's too easy. Sometimes I like going through hard things, even though I don't want to. I go through hard things. And before we came here to California, we lived in Cleveland. There was a lot of tax there to us. I was I was not the person I am before. I was I was selfish. I, I did bad things. And... God, he spoke to my parents and all that, and I, God, he wanted me to go through that hard process, and now I realize why I went through that hard process to get where I am. God spoke to a, a, a preacher, spoke God through him to tell me that he wanted me to become a preacher, and when he told me that, I was like, oh, God, that's what I wanted, but why so soon? I don't want to start yet. What am I going to do? How am I supposed to start a preacher? I'm just like, I'm just a kid. I don't know what to do. But then God says, here, do not call yourself a youth. Even if, you, even if you're a youth, you can still do things that, that give more energy to do. Sometimes, you know, adults, they get tired and everything. They need their space and their rest. And then the youth, you know, they're all hyper energy, you know, that we still want to do stuff. And I know is that a lot of the holiness, they rather go, they rather do um, um, drugs. Muchos jóvenes quieren trabajar con las drogas. Ella tiene mucha energía para hacer esto, pero ella no tiene energía para hacer la voluntad de Dios. They can do, they have all that energy into selling drugs, but they don't have energy to get a job, not to not get yourself a house, but they rather live in the streets and get money, and then they still get caught for it. I'd rather have a Hallelujah. With the oath. and travel where he wants me to go. I want to travel for God. Honestly, I really want to go to Brazil. Because I know there's a lot of people there that get persecuted for being Christian and all that. A lot of homeless people, a lot of homeless youth, they have to sleep on the floors or either on the roof of the houses. And I did research on that, and that's pretty sad. Really sad that, that the government takes whatever they got from them. Because Brazil is a really beautiful place, but it's really full of some kind of rich people. So the people who have poverty, they have to step out and rather live and then make them live in the streets. Mostly kids and teenagers. A lot yeah. of teenagers live on the streets. They they steal what they can get and all that, but it's pretty, to me it's pretty sad because they get killed for being Christian there. Persecuted and all that. And they do not allow people speaking the word of God. That's why a lot of police are down there are like around and everything. 
and meat.